Hello and welcome. In this video, we will cover Azure Automation State Configuration. This will show how to easily enable virtual machines and assign them a configuration desired state that you specify. So we will install IAS Web Server and a Telnet client onto a Windows Server VM in Azure. We will do this by creating an automation account, adding a state and compiling a configuration based on these components and then connecting a Windows Server VM to automatically receive this configuration as a desired state. So this will allow us to add in as many virtual machine servers as we wanted to automatically receive and automate the desired state with ease and push this configuration out to our servers without manually installing software. So let's get started. But before we do, please subscribe to the channel to receive notifications on up and coming videos within the channel. Thank you. So let's start first by creating an automation account. So let's search for automation in the Azure portal and then click automation accounts. Click create, choose a resource group or create a new one. Type the automation account name and choose a region. We will leave managed identities as default for this demo. So this is our configuration PowerShell file we will upload um, to install a, an IS web server and a Telnet client automatically on the Windows VM. Under state configuration, under our automation account, we will add this configuration file and give it a name. And in the next section, we will compile the state configuration. So we have uploaded our desired state configuration to install our Windows components automatically. So let's click into this um, and click compile. And then next, let's add and connect a node to receive this config. OK, let's add our Azure virtual machine, WinWM01, and connect and register it. Let's choose the node configuration we uploaded and compiled earlier and click OK. This will now connect to the VM. And we can now see that the Windows VM is compliant to the configuration and completed the install of a web server and Telnet. So let's now remote desktop to the virtual machine using its public IP address. We can now see that our web server is installed and running and that the Telnet client is also installed, completing our desired state configuration. So we can further browse to the DSC community for further uh, resources. So in this case, we could search for a repository to install Firefox browser as our desired state. Okay, hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos in the Cloud Inspired channel. Thank you and see you all soon.